All righty, let's have a look at this. We've got some wrap and we've got some paint and we've got some chrome side mirrors. Now I'm trying to get rid of all the chrome on this car to black everything out. And the two cheapest options are to paint or to wrap. So first, let's have a look at the painting. So first we need to get these covers off. So we'll just go into the car. Wind our windows down. Now what we want to do is we want to just... You can pop the covers off, but there's plastic clips on the back. Uh, if we break them, we're starting from scratch again because we're going to have to go get some new covers. So the easiest way to do it, tilt the mirror back and just stick the screwdriver underneath at the bottom and just gently pry off the mirror. Um, just go slow, you don't want to break your mirror at the same time. It, it will come off, it is easy to come off. So just play at the clips and it should slide straight out. So once we've taken the mirror out, then we can uh, access the little clips to take the backing off, which is the chrome part, and that's what we're going to be painting uh, and wrapping. So you can see those little clips, that's what actually hold the chrome uh, covers on. Uh, so there's four visual and there's one hidden behind the, um, oh, I'll show you in a sec, but we've got to try and pop this off. So the easiest way is just get a screwdriver and, and hit those little wedges until it pops off. And that little one I was telling about is down the back here. Just push it in, um, but it's a pretty, very simple clip. Pop it out and you can take the chrome cover straight off. And this is where the clip I was telling you about is down in here. Okay, so now that we've got our chrome cover, uh, we want to get some sandpaper. This is an 800. I probably really should have used maybe a 400 or probably something a little bit more coarse. Um, as the 800 was pretty crap. Um, took forever. Um, I really needed something a little bit more coarse. So um, 400 would have been much better. So here you can see the two. Uh, the one on the right is what I've sanded back. The one on the left is what we'll wrap. So now we need to prepare our painting. So I've cleaned it down with the thinners just to get all the uh, sanding dust off it. And uh, we can apply our first coat of undercoat. Try not to touch the painted surface. Um, obviously, um, just stick your fingers underneath and spin it around. Give it about five or 10 minutes to dry and then hit it with the second coat. Then in about five to 10 minutes after your second coat, then you can apply the third coat. And you want this one to be a little bit thicker than the first two coats, just to give it a really good uh, surface for your paint to stick to. Then we'll let that dry for probably half an hour or so. You could probably start a little bit earlier, but probably about half an hour. Um, make sure it's fully touched dry before you start the, uh, the other paint. And then we can start with our, uh, our base coat uh, and today we're going to paint them black um, to match the rest of the car. So I've gone a matte black. So apply your first coat, just give it a nice light coat to start with. You don't want to do a thick coat first. Try doing a couple of layers of light coats. And in between coats, wait probably 5-10 minutes. Um, if you're unsure, just have a look at the back of the can. It'll always tell you how long to wait between coats. Uh, it's only five to ten minutes with this paint. So I've gone ahead and I've put three coats uh, of black as well. So three coats of undercoat and three coats of black. Um, I didn't do any sanding between the undercoats. Um, it was all pretty good. It, it didn't need a sand. So then I've given it the, uh, the final coat of the black. Now once this is uh, finished painting, I just left it in a warm, well ventilated area to, uh, to dry uh, and started getting some of the stuff ready for the wrapping. So that's what it looks like next to the old chrome one. Um, I think it looks heaps better than the chrome. I hate the chrome. So after a couple of hours of letting it dry in the sun, uh, we can now apply it back onto the car. 
Now that total process took roughly four and a half to five hours. I didn't put a clear coat on the black, I've just left it matte black. The, uh, the clear coat will give it a bit more of a glossy look. So this is what it looks like. Um, pretty neat, I'm quite happy with it. Um, okay, so then once we've done that, the mirror is very simple to put back on. It's just like two clips at the top, like a swivel, and then the clips down the bottom will actually hold everything into place. Once you've got it in there, just use the mirrors, uh, the controls, just to make sure the mirror moves around. Uh, probably keep your fingers on the mirror just so that it doesn't fall out and smash on the ground. So this is just what you're going to need to do the wrap. Um, this is quite simple. I've never wrapped before and I thought this process was pretty simple to do. Uh, the only issue was that I only had 20 centimetre wide um, or 25 centimetre wide wrap. I probably should have went a bit wider. Um, it, I really had to stretch it to get it right over the mirror, which which isn't what you want. You, you, you want the um, small size of the wrap to actually fit over your mirror. Because uh, the process of this is when you heat it, you're going to stretch the wrap. Now, once you put it over the mirror and you heat it again, that will actually uh, shrink the wrap and that'll give it a better bond um, to the backing uh, onto the chrome cover. Um, so I had to muck around with this for about 10 or 15 minutes and just move it around and heat it up and stretch it around. I did finally get it on. Um, the difference between painting and the shrink uh, with the wrap, I got the wrap on in about literally 10 minutes. Uh, it wouldn't have even been 10 minutes. Um, with the hairdryer, it was... The hairdryer worked fantastic. Just apply the heat and stretch, pull it over all the corners to make sure it's all all nice and nice and neat. Get all the air bubbles out. Um, like I said, it was it was really really easy. Um, I did like the look of the wrap finish um, as much as I like the finish on the paint. Um, look at this. Look how easy this is. Just pull it straight over, and all the bubbles are gone. It really is good. Like I say, 10 minutes and I had this cover done. So if you've only got half an hour and you want to do a quick job, um, the wrapping is fantastic. And the look is really good as well. Um, make sure you get all the air bubbles out because over time those bubbles will look terrible. Um, it's going to bubble up and, and look crap. So get into all the edges and push all the air out. Now once you wrap it around the back, just trim the edges off. Um, make it nice and neat uh, and just return the cover back on as you did with the painted one just pop it straight on obviously there's no waiting time uh, drying time just click it on um, so that's the two mirrors there the driver's sides the painted side which does look I, I thought pretty good um, and the passenger side that's the wrap um, now up close like I said I've never wrapped before um, and I still think it looks pretty good. A uh, couple more goes, I'll probably pick up a bit of a technique. Uh, if you've wrapped before, you'll find this really, really easy. Um, but yeah, so that's the finished product. Um, leave us a comment, see what you think. Tell us what you think, uh, whether you like the wrap or the paint. So there we go, 30 minutes for the wrap and five hours for the paint. And uh, nearly three times as much for the paint. So don't forget, leave a comment. Uh, by doing so, you can go into the draw, which is drawn on Christmas Eve, uh, a full filter pack for your Triton. Uh, and this is all uh, Tritons that will be covered. So for more how-to videos on servicing and modifications and also installations, hit that subscribe button because I upload weekly. So have fun and remember, get out there and give it a go.